China has launched an unprecedented mission to retrieve samples from the far side of the moon. For centuries, the moon has fascinated humanity, inspiring awe and sparking curiosity. Its presence in the night sky has not only given rise to countless myths and stories, but also acted as a guiding light for some of humanity's most ambitious goals. During the 20th century, the race to the moon became symbolic of the political and ideological rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union. Yet, decades later, a new player has entered the fray, bringing with it a discovery so profound that it could completely alter our understanding of history. China's recent lunar mission has uncovered something extraordinary, with implications that have left the world, particularly the United States, in all. The focus is no longer just on what China has found, but how this new knowledge will influence humanity's future. What does this discovery mean for the global balance of power? More importantly, what secrets about our closest celestial neighbor have been revealed? Let's delve deeper into China's remarkable find and explore why it has sent shockwaves through both the scientific community and global politics. China's Lunar Aspirations to truly grasp the significance of this moment, it's important to consider how China's space program has evolved over the past two decades. China has made remarkable strides in space exploration, from launching its first astronaut into orbit to constructing an advanced space station. Its ambitions have steadily grown, but perhaps the most attention-grabbing aspect of China's space efforts has been its lunar missions. The Chang'e program, named after the mythical Chinese moon goddess, has been at the forefront of China's lunar endeavors. In 2019, the Chang'e 4 spacecraft became the first to land on the far side of the moon, a groundbreaking achievement that had never been accomplished before. Then, in 2020, the Chang'e 5 mission returned lunar samples to Earth for the first time in over four decades. Now, with the upcoming Chang'e 7 and Chang'e 8 missions, China has set its sights on establishing a permanent lunar base by the 2030s. These efforts are more than just a matter of national pride. They are a deliberate attempt to position China as a dominant player in the next era of human exploration. And now, their latest discovery could solidify China's role as a leader in space exploration the discovery that could change everything. China's Chang'e 6 mission, a follow-up to Chang'e 5, focused on exploring the moon's south pole, a region that has garnered significant interest due to its potential for water ice. This mission employed state-of-the-art robotic technology and instruments to analyze the lunar surface with unprecedented accuracy. What the Chinese scientists discovered, however, surpassed all expectations. Deep beneath the surface of the South Pole, they uncovered evidence of a previously unknown mineral composition, tentatively named Changeite. This mineral appears to have properties that could revolutionize our understanding of planetary formation and the moon's history. But that's not all. Along with this mineral, they also detected anomalies in the moon's magnetic field suggesting that the moon may have a far more dynamic geological history than we previously thought. This challenges the long-standing belief that the moon is a geologically dormant world, raising intriguing questions about its past and its connection to Earth. If these findings are confirmed, they could alter our understanding of the moon's formation and provide critical insights into the early solar system. Even more intriguingly, these discoveries might hold clues about the conditions necessary for life to thrive on other celestial bodies. The Water Ice Breakthrough In addition to discovering Changi, the Chang'e 6 mission made significant progress in the search for water ice on the moon. Using advanced spectrometers, the mission identified regions with high concentrations of hydrogen, an essential indicator of water ice. This discovery is crucial, as water is a fundamental resource for supporting life, 
and could also serve as a vital ingredient for producing fuel for future space missions. The potential presence of water ice at the Moon's South Pole has been suspected for years, but China's findings offer the most concrete evidence yet. This breakthrough could pave the way for the establishment of a permanent lunar base, enabling humanity to use the moon as a springboard for deeper exploration into the solar system. But why is this discovery so critical? Water ice is not just a resource, it's a game changer. It means future lunar missions won't have to transport as much water from Earth, reducing both costs and logistical challenges. It also means that the moon could become a refueling station for spacecraft, making interplanetary travel more practical than ever before. The U.S. response. Naturally, the United States has been paying close attention to China's findings. NASA, which has been planning its own lunar missions through the Artemis program, is now scrambling to keep pace. The Artemis program aims to return humans to the moon by the mid-2020s and establish a sustainable human presence there. However, China's recent advancements have injected a new sense of urgency into America's lunar ambitions. U.S. officials are increasingly viewing the moon as a critical asset, not just scientifically, but also geopolitically. The potential for mining valuable resources such as helium-3 and rare earth metals has made the moon a focal point for economic competition. With China's latest discoveries, the stakes have never been higher. There are growing concerns about a lunar land grab. And while international agreements like the 1967 Outer Space Treaty prohibit nations from claiming ownership of the moon, the treaty's lack of enforcement mechanisms leaves the issue murky. As China accelerates its lunar efforts, the United States is grappling with the need to bolster its own presence on the moon geopolitical implications. The moon has always been more than just a site for scientific discovery. It has been a stage for geopolitical rivalry. During the Cold War, the space race between the United States and the Soviet Union was not only about scientific achievement, but also about asserting technological supremacy. Today, a similar dynamic is unfolding between the United States and China. China's latest discovery has intensified tensions between the two superpowers, with much more at stake than simply who gets to the moon first. The true battle is over who will control its resources and assert dominance in space. The geopolitical ramifications of this rivalry extend far beyond lunar exploration. Space is increasingly viewed as a strategic domain for national security, technological innovation, and economic development. The United States and its allies are discussing ways to coordinate their space efforts to counterbalance China's growing influence, including strengthening partnerships through initiatives like the Artemis Accords, which promote peaceful and transparent lunar exploration. The scientific community responds. Within the scientific world, China's Discovery has stirred both excitement and controversy. Researchers from around the globe are eager to analyze the data and comprehend its full implications. The discovery of Changite, in particular, has opened new avenues of research into planetary geology and mineralogy. However, there are concerns regarding the accessibility of the data. China has historically kept much of its space research private leading to calls for greater transparency and international collaboration. Scientists argue that sharing data and resources is critical for advancing our understanding of the moon and the solar system. Despite the excitement, there are also cautions. While the findings are undeniably significant, some experts emphasize the importance of further peer-reviewed studies to confirm the results. Science requires rigor and it will take time to fully understand the implications of China's discovery. The Future of Lunar Exploration China's discovery underscores just how much remains unknown about the moon, even after decades of exploration. 
as nations around the world turn their attention to lunar exploration. We are entering a new phase of discovery, one that promises to uncover the mysteries of our closest celestial neighbor. For humanity, the moon represents more than just a destination. It is a stepping stone to the stars and a testing ground for the technologies and strategies that will one day carry us to Mars and beyond. However, the path ahead is not without its challenges. From technical obstacles to geopolitical tensions, lunar exploration presents both opportunities and risks. China's latest discovery serves as a wake-up call signaling that the race to explore the moon is far from over and the stakes are higher than ever as we look toward the future one thing is certain the moon holds the key to humanity's next great leap and the discoveries we make there will shape our destiny for generations to come the lunar resource race china's discovery is not just driven by scientific curiosity it also reflects the enormous economic potential of the moon the moon's resources, including rare earth metals, helium-3, and water ice, are expected to become some of the most valuable commodities of the 21st century. For example, helium-3 has long been touted as a potential fuel for nuclear fusion, a technology that could revolutionize energy production by offering a nearly unlimited, clean power source. Just one ton of helium-3 could theoretically power an entire country for a year. With China leading the charge in lunar exploration, there is a real possibility that the country could corner the market on these resources, securing both a massive economic and strategic advantage. Control over lunar resources could reshape global energy markets and shift the balance of power in China's favor. Recognizing the stakes, the United States, Europe, and other nations are beginning to acknowledge the importance of this new space race. This time, it's not just about planting flags, it's about who controls the moon's untapped wealth, the lunar economy. To understand the scale of what is at stake, consider the potential economic impact of the moon. Some experts estimate that the lunar economy could be worth trillions of dollars in the coming decades. This includes not just resource extraction, but also the development of infrastructure such as lunar habitats, power systems, and transportation networks. Mining the moon's resources could drive innovation and give rise to entirely new industries. For instance, space manufacturing could become a reality allowing for the construction of satellites, telescopes, and other structures without needing to launch them from Earth. This would drastically reduce costs and open up new possibilities for both exploration and commercialization. China's recent discovery of Changi, with its unique properties, adds another layer of intrigue to this economic scenario. If this mineral proves to have valuable industrial or scientific applications, it could become a cornerstone of the lunar economy, further solidifying China's leadership in space exploration, a gateway to the solar system. There's also the question of the moon's role as a launch pad for missions to Mars and beyond. Establishing a base on the moon could reduce the cost and energy required for interplanetary travel. In this context, the moon becomes much more than just a destination. It becomes a vital springboard for humanity's future in space. Strategic focus on the South Pole China's attention to the moon's South Pole is no accident. This region is believed to be one of the most resource-rich areas on the moon, with its permanently shadowed craters potentially containing vast amounts of water ice. Water ice is not only a crucial resource for life support, but it can also be converted into rocket fuel, making the moon an ideal site for refueling spacecraft and venturing deeper into the solar system. The strategic importance of the South Pole has not gone unnoticed by other countries. NASA's Artemis program, for example, aims to establish a base camp in the region by the end of the decade. Similarly, the European Space Agency and private companies 
like SpaceX, are targeting this area for exploration. China's discovery of significant water ice deposits in this region raises the stakes for other nations, as securing a foothold there could provide a critical advantage in the race to dominate the moon. The Role of Private Companies While national space agencies have been the primary drivers of lunar exploration, private companies are also playing an increasingly significant role. Firms like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Astrobotic are developing technologies that could revolutionize our approach to accessing and utilizing the moon. SpaceX, for instance, is working on its Starship spacecraft, designed to transport humans and cargo to the moon and beyond. Blue Origin, led by Amazon's Jeff Bezos, is developing its own lunar lander, Blue Moon. And Astrobotic, a Pittsburgh-based company, is focused on delivering payloads to the moon for NASA and other clients. These companies are not just collaborators with national space programs. They are also competitors seeing the moon as a frontier for commercial opportunity. As the involvement of private companies in lunar exploration increases, the dynamics of the space race are likely to shift, creating both new opportunities and challenges.